AutoCAD is all about putting our designs on paper, so it's time we start creating some line work. In this lesson, we're going to look at AutoCAD's most basic tool, the line command. If you look at my screen, you can see I've got a large green rectangle. This shape is going to serve as a boundary. It's kind of like a sandbox. We're going to use this shape to play around and explore AutoCAD's line command. Let's launch the tool by coming up to the draw panel in our ribbon and clicking the icon. If I look at the command line, AutoCAD says specify first point. I'll pick a point on screen and then I'll pick a few more points. Fairly easy to use the line command. Notice as I move my cursor for each segment, take a look at how the line moves with the cursor. This is called the rubber band effect. Before I create my next segment, I'm going to look at the command line. Notice I can specify another point or I've got some sub options here. I could close the shape or I could undo to back up one segment. To access a sub option, I can right click and I can find them right here in the menu. I'm going to select undo to back up a segment. You know what? I'm going to back up one more. There we go. And then I can continue on. And if I wanted to close this shape, I could simply right click and select close. I'm going to launch the command one more time. Let's pick a few points on screen. At this point, let's say I was finished with this geometry. To get out of the command, there's two ways I can do it. One is by simply hitting the escape key like that. AutoCAD stops the command immediately. Or let me launch the command again. If I'm in the middle of a command at the point I'm finished, I can right click and select enter. That will also finish the command. You will soon find that all AutoCAD commands function the same way. Now, this line work that we've created is, while it's nice, it's very abstract. It has no real geometric value. Let's try and create some line work that's based on dimensions. All right, I'm going to come up and launch the line command again. I'm going to pick a point on screen, and this time I'm going to pull off to the right here, and I'm going to type in a value on my keyboard. I'm going to type a distance of 5 and hit Enter. Notice I have created a segment five units long in the direction I was pulling. Let me pull down in this direction. I'm going to type seven and hit enter. Let me pull in this direction. I'm going to type nine and hit enter. And when I'm finished with my shape, I'm going to right click and select close. This method of drawing is called direct distance entry. And while we're still scribbling on our screen, this line work is based on real dimensions. Now that we have a functional understanding of how to use the line command, we're ready to move on to the next lesson where we'll learn how to create some geometrically accurate line work.